What's up, guys? This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater out here at Gene's Home, the Audioholic Smart Home. And I just heard in this insane RBH Home Theater, only two speakers. I heard the towers at the front of the room and it changed my perspective on two-channel stereo imaging. Gene, give my viewers a little insight into the RBH setup that you have and why it sounds so amazing. So thanks, Zach, for having me on your channel. So when you walk into this room, the centerpiece of this room is really these seven and a half foot SVTRS towers. I mean, it looks like something from 2001 Space Odyssey, It's insane. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like to emphasize two channel in everything I do. And the way to get the best two channel is to have a speaker out in the room. So that way you get a depth of soundstage and imaging and you get just great focus, especially when you're sitting here between the two speakers. And a lot of this is good acoustic control in the room, good symmetry with the sidewalls, but you build upon that, you've got an active speaker system that's phase coherent, that's fully digitally room correction, so there's no passive crossovers in it, tri-amplified system. It's just absolutely stellar what you could do and how you could customize the sound of the speaker to your liking. And then you build upon that, we've got the matching in-wall center channel from RBH, and then we got the side channels, which are very similar to the main speakers. They're just missing one mid-range, but it has that same AMT tweeter. They're on wall, so they're easy to install. And then we've got the in-wall versions for the back channels, which have six and a half inch drivers and a smaller AMT tweeter. And then to finish off at the height levels, we've got six Atmos speakers from RBH in ceiling speakers. I chose four for regular conventional Atmos, and then I added two more in front wider apart, but they're angled baffles, so they fire at the listening area. And I actually configured them as wide channels as a joke, and I like the way it sounded. Everybody that's listened to it, when you added those wide channels, they just sound stellar. So I'm kind of leaving it at that point. I do have the option to add more speakers for wide channels if I want down the road. Of course, now we're implementing this new 21 I was about to sub. say, yeah, you almost forgot about the 21. How could you forget? You can't miss it when you walk in. <laughs> So you didn't even talk about the other subwoofers. That's true. <laughs> There's more, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. There's more subs. How, how many total subs do we have in this room? Okay, so the front towers have dual 12s. If you count each of those as two subs per tower, and then I've got those matching subs at the back of the room, one on the left side, one on the right side. And the reason why we have so many subs is not just about creating massive more output because these speakers alone can pressurize the room. It's about creating consistent bass for every seat. That way, when you apply equalization, it works for all the seats and you get very consistent results. So whether you're sitting in this seat, that seat, even the mother-in-law seat in the back, you're gonna get a good experience with bass. This is a serious reference level home theater setup and a killer two channel hi-fi setup as well. Dream Media is honored to be here in your home and also to offer RBH nationwide. I cannot wait to integrate this into customers' homes to deliver this level of experience. In just a moment, we're gonna fire up a demo for you guys, but if you would like to purchase anything home theater related, be sure to reach out today for a free video consultation with one of our specialists. We're nationwide and we would love the opportunity to earn your business. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up and make sure to smash that subscribe button down below for more. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media and Gene with Audioholics. Thanks for watching. Keep listening. Are you ready? Hey, are you ready for this? Are you ready?